Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought about sharing with you all a cash stuffing video. So let's get into it. This is the rent and this is my little envelope for rent. I'm going to be stuffing it with 250, 60, 70, and 80, which is half of the rent. I'm going to put that in the rent category and just fold it like so. I like that it's a small envelope just because I just fold the big bills in half and it works for me that it's small. For groceries, I like having a bigger one just because I like to put three, four, five, six. 10 and two fives. I like to put my receipts in there and really all the receipts, which I haven't been doing all that great with this past pay period that I had. So I'm going to be tracking everything down to the cent, including stuff in the envelopes. So the next one is Jackie. So this one also has dentists for my co-pays and that's all it has in there. So we're gonna put $100, $75, sorry. So 150, 120, and 15. I wanted to do $100 this time around, but I didn't just because I'm trying to have a balance between stuffing the sinking funds and also paying down loan number nine, which is our smallest loan. Then we have long gifts. Sorry, I was a little confused. So for gifts, we have one $20 bill and one $5 bill. I have a lot of gifts coming up and I want to be prepared. So this past paycheck, I spent overspent on gifts. And I'm trying to get that under control. Trying is a key word. So for laundry, we're doing 25 and they're all in $5 bills. 15, 20, 25. I actually had an extra $5 bill in here, but I already purchased some laundry soap. So what I'm gonna do with that extra $5 bill is probably put it in my savings account or into debt. Not really sure yet. And the next one is clothes, and we're going to be putting $25 in there because I am going to be needing to shop for some shorts soon for the summertime, and I want to be prepared and be ready. Unfortunately, I didn't end up purchasing that rain boots, the pair of rain boots. So I don't know if it'll go towards that or if it'll go towards shorts, but it'll definitely go towards something. And then we're going to fill the car, which is going to be $10. It already has $10 in there from the last time that we filled it. And we're sticking it in. I finally got the envelope back from my husband, and he's done using it. So I'm just going to be stuffing it again if I can get it in there. Okay. It doesn't have to be super pretty, but... Move out is $20, so it is just a one $20 bill. Then toiletries is $10. And that is going to be a $10 bill. And the rest, I don't have any envelopes for. I'm working on probably purchasing some more singing funds, but I haven't just because I'm trying to be um, smart with my money and my purchases and maybe save up for that. So there is $20 for date night and then there's $40. I mean, not $20. I meant $40 for date night, $40 for taxes and $10 in personal spending for whatever I choose. So that's all I have for today. You all thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye.